Happy Thursday, everyone. Well, there is obviously a lot going on right now, and as you can see, don't need the degree to see. We've got low pressure just off the coast, a little further to the north, out in the Pacific just a bit, and more going on as we go over the next couple of days with little breaks in between. So we'll call this today. This is Thursday. This is Friday, and that's Saturday, meaning more showers on the way with a little bit of a break in between. Everything moving essentially from left to right, but also a little south to north, a little west to east, everything mixing all together to bring very early spring like conditions, just one system after another, keeping us cool, keeping us cloudy and keeping us at least with a threat of showers just about every single day. A little bit of a break, as I mentioned, heading into Friday. So let's zoom a little further to the north. It's all essentially driven by low pressure in the Gulf of Alaska, kind of creating this low pressure trough throughout the Pacific, bringing one system after another. High pressure tends to get in the way of that. That's what we saw a few weeks ago where we had the warmer, drier conditions. High pressure was in control, didn't want to move a whole lot. Well, low, low pressure likes to move fairly quickly. That's what we're seeing essentially day after day as we go through the forecast. Low pressure essentially just off of the coast, bringing showers, bringing winds out of the south and bringing the potential for more rain. And by the afternoon, decent chance of rain as well as a chance of some thunderstorms. So we will be watching that as we continue into the weekend itself, bringing that potential heading later in the day today before clearing out on Friday and then another round on Saturday. Checking it out with your pinpoint forecast. We'll go over the next 48 hours. Most of the shower activity you're going to see with the low pressure just off the coast here. Most of the activity going to be right about there. Northern California and out on the coast itself. See most of the showers for Coos County, a little bit of Curry County, Del Norte in Siskiyou County with the potential for med but the thing is, when we have these higher winds out of the south, they go up over the mountains, come back down into the valleys, and it tends to dry out a lot of the air. Now, by the afternoon, this is 4 p.m. on your Thursday, I think the showers are going to be strong enough and the winds light enough that we will see more shower activity for the Medford area. Let's head into Friday, and you can see we clear out for a good part of the day. A little bit later in the morning, start to clear out the skies, maybe a little bit of sunshine. Doesn't warm us up a whole lot, though. We do start a little bit cooler, and then head later in the day Friday, scattered showers possible. Then later in the day on Saturday, another round of rain. In terms of how much rain we've seen, decent amount, but mainly in Northern California and out on the coast. Those winds mostly keeping Medford dry, as well as areas east of the Cascades. We've added to that since midnight, so just going to our full 24-hour precipitation loop, you can see that's a lot for areas of Northern California, also factoring in snow there, of course, at those higher elevations. Most of the snow staying way up in the mountains, though. And out on the coast, plenty of rain, almost three quarters of an inch for areas of North Bend. Let's check it out as we go over the next 48 hours. We're adding to that. The blues, the purples, that's the heavier rainfall. Friday, not bringing as much rainfall, but still adding in areas out on the coast and in Northern California. Speaking of the coast, showers likely with that slight chance of PM thunderstorms, mainly to the south, temperatures mainly in the 50s. Very similar to yesterday with rain likely later tonight. In the West Valley, showers mainly later this afternoon and evening, but some chances during the course of the day. A slight chance of thunderstorms as we get into the afternoon with rain likely tonight into tomorrow, and then clearing as we go later in the day on Friday. Winds out of the south fairly gusty, up to 40 miles per hour possible. And east of the Cascades also seeing some gusty winds with a chance of showers throughout the day and then a little bit later, late afternoon into the early evening, chance of storms and showers combining with those wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour. Seven day forecast, a bit of a break on Friday, but even Friday morning brings a chance of showers lingering from tonight's system tonight into tomorrow. Then Saturday later in the day, another chance of showers into Sunday, a little bit of a break on Monday as well. We'll call it a chance of showers there and then another round of showers hours possible towards Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. Checking out the Klamath Basin, you're following that trend as well, just a little bit later. So later in the day today, a chance of storms, a chance of showers, dry for Friday, and then another chance of storms and showers on Saturday and Sunday. Northern California, potential for thunderstorms this afternoon as well. Showers continue into the morning on Friday before another round of rain likely on Sunday, possibly into Monday and Tuesday. And for the coast, rain fairly likely for today and again on Saturday, mostly dry on Friday, not completely with more showers heading into next week.